Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My day is going fantastic. Got off, went outside, had some coffee, read my Bible this morning and just got to sit and have some quiet and then took Brooklyn to work and I'm here I am. I'm like, I'm ready to take on my day today. We're going to be doing all the things school and life and, you know, chores, which I won't show you all that stuff, but we're going to make some food. So today I'm going to focus on some baking items. We've been doing like one day trying to get some baking treats and I mean, we've been doing, maybe I've done it a few times. I don't know. I try to, I feel like in my mindset I do. <laughs> So we're going to do some baking today. I've got a little list of things I've been wanting to make. Maddie said she wants to help with a few things today. So I'm like, okay, let's do these things. I've been wanting to try out that silicone sub bread pan that I got to see how that works. So I'm like, we can make some homemade sub bread, subway bread today and it'll be good. It'll be good. I've got a lot of veggies I got to do something with because I got them last week and haven't done a whole lot with them because we've been eating other things or eating them, but just not all of them. So I need to make sure I check on those. I've got mangoes over here that are I'm gonna go bad, so I need to cut those up today. We just gotta make, we gotta make some good food. <laughs> so let's make some good food. You guys ready for some great food? Let's do this, and I got some encouragement for you today. This comes from James chapter one, verse 22. Be doers of the word and not just hearers only. Hmm. Deceiving yourselves. Ooh, I, <laughs> I think that's so important because sometimes we just hear things. We hear things of what we're supposed to do. We go to church and we listen to what the pastor tells us. Um, you know, God's word says we should do and we read scripture and it talks about what to do, but we just hear it and we don't actually do it. I know because it's harder to step out of faith and do it. It's harder. It's a risk. It's a risk you take to, you know, um, not be as liked. If you feel like you're going to make yourself look like a fool. And so, to be ashamed and to not um, be bold and stand for the things that God tells you to stand for things. Sometimes it's easier to act like the world when they're coming at you and when they, you know, say things about you or talk about you or do things. It's like your actions speak louder than words. It's like you don't need to defend yourself. You don't need to argue with somebody. The Bible talks a lot about getting into foolish things and to stay away from this. Stay far, far away because you don't want to be messed up with things that are foolish. And, but it does talk a lot about standing and actively standing for your faith and still continuing to bless the name of the Lord and um, be thankful, have gratitude, all those good things. So think of something in your life today that where maybe you need to step up actively in your faith and take a stand in it instead of just sitting on the fence on things, maybe putting, I know a lot of them, um, and, and I'm guilty too, to be able to stand both feet on each side. It's like, no, I don't want part. I, I am a Christian. I am walking this way, but I still have my foot over here. I still enjoy listening to gossip. I still enjoy listening to things that God would not approve of. I still enjoy watching things God would not approve of. I still enjoy listening to and hearing things because it tickles my ears and makes me feel better having other people, you know, maybe gossip and hearing about somebody else doing bad in their life. It makes me feel like maybe I'm not doing too bad. So are we on the fence this way or are we on the fence this side? It's like you can't straddle both sides. You either get on the side or get on this side. So learning to get on this side over here with God and just staying far, far away, put up that wall even higher, get over here and don't even focus over there. Don't even focus over there because it's not a good place to be. It's not a good place to be. So think of those areas in your life where you're like, hmm, where are you straddling the fence? Where is God telling you to do something? And you're not. I do it. I do it too. Where he's told me to do something and I'm like, okay, sure, God, but I deserve some quiet time. I deserve some me time. I deserve this to chill and relax. This is good to just you know, not do anything and, and just flip through and, and just mindlessly watch things. It's like, nope, he's already told me what to do. So focus and, and do that. Make your right decision. You will watch God do things in your life. So think of those areas in your life where God says, hmm, don't do that, but you're still kind of doing it, but not really sort of, but yet you are, right? <laughs> Get over on the side of the fence. That's where you want to be. Don't be a, a hear only, be a doer. Be a doer of what God tells you to do. All right, you guys ready for a great day? I'm ready for a great day. Hey, let's go. So this recipe is three cups of warm water, four tablespoons of active dry yeast. Mix that and let's stand. And you're gonna add a quarter cup of sugar, a third cup of oil, one tablespoon of salt, Two eggs, a third cup of instant potato flakes. And then you're going to mix in about seven and a half cups of flour.
And then you're gonna let it rise until it doubles. So I got mine sitting outside with a cloth over it so because it's nice and toasty out there versus the air in the house. I'm gonna make some breakfast for Greg here this morning. So he likes a bowl fried bologna and some eggs and toast. So I'm gonna make that this morning real simple and easy for him. I did these yesterday after someone already cooked in here and they kind of got like let it go where they didn't have enough oil in there so it got black in the pan so when I made his eggs they were all black you know how that is or it gets that brown in there they weren't burned it just has the discolorment so making them fresh will be nice because then they turn out perfectly and I'll be here watching it so nothing will get too hard because I like making the dippy ones because that's the one he likes Something I do want to try out is a uh, new toaster. We have a four slice toaster and I've had it for years. You know when you have things for years, especially like toasters and equipment like that, it like it wears down and it doesn't toast as quickly. And I know our toaster takes a little bit longer, it seems. I'm like, gosh, this takes forever. And so I know it's just going bad, the heating element and stuff, because we've been using it forever. So I thought I would get a new toaster because, you know, that would help fix the situation. I didn't get a four slice toaster because we don't, I mean, we do toast, but we don't do a ton of toast all the time. It's really like not something we do every single day where everybody has, you know, toast where I have to make it for a bunch of people. So I just got a two slice, a good old two slice instead of a four slice toaster. This one here, it's got um, touch control toaster. So I thought it would be neat to try. So I'm going to open this one up and uh, use this for him, see if it toasts quickly. But first my eggs are ready. So I'm going to take the bologna out and put some water in here and let them steam just like 30 seconds. Keep your eye on the eggs, they don't burn. I'm gonna put these in here and see how this does. Got a touch screen, so instead of choosing a level, you can actually look at the picture. Kind of good for kids. The eggs turned out perfect, perfectly dippy. Now I'm gonna cut an orange up while the toast is finishing up. In my butter, I did not get it out to let it soften, so it's gonna be a little hard trying to get it done. I found if you just take out a little chunk of it and set it on there, put the top on it, especially when it's warm, it'll start melting, then you can butter it. Then Maddie's up. She's getting her breakfast. She's making the same thing. She likes to make her fried bologna and eggs dippy, so she's going to make hers and have some toast. Breakfast is done that I have to do. Um, bread is still rising. I'm gonna start, uh, Maddie's gonna eat her breakfast and then she said she didn't start helping me making food. So I'm gonna do a few things. I've got water boiling over here. I'm gonna make a cold pasta salad with homemade, or I think Italian dressing homemade. I might have some open, so I might use that if I don't. If I don't, then I'll make it. Remember, I got the ingredients for it. But something I'm gonna do is homemade chocolate syrup. When I went to the store, how much was chocolate syrup? And let me refresh my, my brain, because it was expensive. The Hershey syrup was $10 for a two pack, which I thought was crazy, but I know everything is up in price. And so I'm like, I remember seeing a recipe from my friend Jean that she made this in her cookbook here. And I'm like, I'm gonna make that. And it's funny because I read through it. It says at the bottom, um, it only costs about 85 cents per quart to make this. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm sure it's more because cocoa powder is a little bit more, but it's simple. It's cocoa powder, sugar, salt, hot water, and vanilla. That's it. So I've got a, pot, a cup of water over here heating up. In my bowl, I'm going to mix up one cup of cocoa and three cups of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt and stir it up. And I'm going to add it over here. We've got to be really careful. We're going to make our own chocolate syrup. So I've got a cup of water in here already. You want to stir this beforehand. You're going to add this to it all mixed up. And you're going to stir it until it's mixed really well. And then after it's mixed, you're going to add two more cups of water to it, and then it's going to come to a boil. It's going to foam up and all that, so you have to keep stirring it constantly. She did this and she canned it. I'm not going to can it because I know everybody will eat it up. If you make more than you, that'd be a good idea. So just mix that so it's mixed real thorough. You're going to bring it to a boil for about two to four minutes. This is just to get the sugar dissolved, and then you're going to shut it off, and you're going to put in your vanilla to it. And this is great because it tastes like Hershey syrup. I remember way back in the day making this. Haven't made it in a long time, but after the $10 price tag, I was like, uh, you can definitely make that. Cocoa is obviously more, but I think what, a container of cocoa, I think you get at least two cups, maybe three cups out of there. And so cocoa is what, maybe, is it $2 a container? I'd have to look it up. 
It's so cheaper to make and you can can it. It's easy and it's delicious. And you know what's going into it. Not that I don't care if you go buy it with the stuff at the store, go ahead. I've got plenty of stuff I purchased at the store, but making it yourself, you know the ingredients that are going into it. Be one of those stirs. Ever be, were you the stir for your mom? My mom would always make tapioca pudding and custard pudding. And that was not instant. You had to sit at the stove and stir it forever. And she didn't know the hack of just like heating half of it and letting it come to a boil and then adding it all together. <laughs> so I was the one stirring. She's like, don't let it stick to the bottom. It'll leave marks. It'll leave the, you know, the burn part. I always did that. Custard pudding. Mm, so good custard pudding. I don't even, you don't even find it at the store anymore. The brown box we used to have. It's even hard finding tapioca. Like they have tapioca, but it's just like not, it's like less tapioca and more pudding. So it's not as good. This is one. I'm going to add some pasta over here. We use up the pasta that we have is the small shell pasta from all those mac and cheeses. So this is boiling here. I'm gonna let it boil for another minute and then I'll take it off the heat. So this is good. You're just gonna turn this off and you're gonna add your vanilla and then I'm gonna let it sit and cool before I pour mine into my jar. Two, one. Hello. It's Madeline. It's me again. <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> it's been a while. It's just me. It's I know, just, it has been a while. It's been a while, I've just been in the background, not talking. I know, I just kind of, you know, you, you skip over your kids a little bit. Not really. She no. skipped over me. Though. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I did this. She's going to make some cookies. She's going to help me bake today. So she's going to do cookie recipe. This is Mama Bell's from Just the Bell's 10. They're cookies. We love them. It's delicious. It's easy. It's a fail proof, like, why not make it? So she's going to mix this one up. So yeah, she's got it. Okay, she's going to mix it. Let's do a height check. Look at How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Let me stand straight. There we go. I might be five. She's almost there. Every day she comes out, I'm like, you're getting taller and taller. Her and Jensen both, I'm like, oh my goodness, she has her. We have a competition. Who's going to grow lead. first? She's in the lead. I'm going to stay there. She's going to stay there, I think. So she's going to be tall like her sisters. So she's going to mix this up. And we'll put this in the mixer. Okay. First, she's going to add two thirds cup of butter or margarine and two thirds cup of shortening and mix that up. And then she's gonna scrape down the sides and add one cup of brown sugar, one cup of regular sugar. Then she's gonna mix that up. Then she's gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla and two eggs. In a separate bowl, you're gonna mix three cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and one package of instant vanilla pudding. Okay, mix them up real good. We added a little bit more, less mini ones because that bag was more like crushed up M&M's. Yeah. It'll be we delicious. We need more M&M's. We need more M&M's. It'll be delicious. So she's going to put these on a cookie sheet and we'll bake them in the oven. And over on this side of the kitchen, I'm going to be making our Italian noodle salad. I thought, I forgot I have that humongous hunk of salami and I'm like, I got to use that up. So I'm going to chop some of this up, do like an, an apostle salad sort of with, you know, cucumbers because that's good. So I'll do some, um, cut up the salami here some peppers, cucumbers, and I will do some Parmesan cheese in here. had some leftover um, peppers and onions from tacos that we had nachos. So I'm gonna put those in here as well. So I have a bottle of Italian dressing in my refrigerator, so I'm not gonna bother making any. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use the Salad Supreme. This is the stuff my mother-in-law used. It was really good. And stir it up, mix it up, it'll be delicious. If it's too tart for you, add a little bit of sugar to it. I'll do it after um, I mix it up. Okay, this is really good. It's almost like a smoky flavor to it. This is delicious. 
That's really good. So I just did that, put a little bit of sugar in there, mix up this is Italian salad, done. Maddie's gonna start doing her cookies. So this made over a big quart and a little bit more here. So this is good. You can can it, you can, there's ways that you can make it seal it for a while. We'll be using ours up, I know this week. So that's a good thing. Kids were asking for it. So now we have it. Cookies are in the oven. Salad is done. My bread dough definitely needs to be pushed down. I probably make the bread. Let me get that and punch it down. For my um, bread dough, it says to separate into four and then take those four and separate them again in half and that'll give me eight total. My bread thing is only five, because it's okay. <laughs> I'll just put the rest in a bowl, let it rise up again. It's gotta rise up again anyways. And then they take theirs and do they dip it? They dip it in water? I think they dip it in water and then coat it with stuff. I'll probably use a brush, brush some water and then put on the, I have Italian seasoning and I have garlic, it's the garlic salt. I'll put that on top. Maybe some I'll do with the everything bagel topping. I think I'll do that and then um, let them rise again and we'll bake them in the oven. I don't, I'm trying, I'm sure there's a way to do them without the form. I just don't know. Like I know if you just make it, it's gonna go flat. So I'm gonna do our best and try it out. These don't turn out, they look so delicious. So we'll see how they work out. So I just sprinkled garlic, I just brushed on water, sprinkled the garlic and Italian seasoning. They smell really good. So I'm gonna set them up, leave the inside to rise up and then uh, the other bread dough, I'll just let it sit. We're waiting on the cookies to cool off. I'm just gonna peel some mangoes here to eat up because he's gotta get eaten up. Okay, we do a little cleanup. I got all the mangoes. They were just kind of like one going yucky. If you kind of peel them from the outside, then they do really good. So I'm just gonna be munching on these because these are so good. I like these better than the store mangoes. Like the red ones, I feel like they're a lot harder. So washing dishes, we're gonna cut up some veggies and then we're gonna be on to making some cakes in a little bit.
I'm just gonna cut these veggies up. They're just using up some celery and the carrots and then the cucumbers so they don't go bad. So I'm just gonna put them in two containers so I can put one out with some um, ranch and hummus and the other one up on the refrigerator. Okay, busy, busy. So um, I've got the veggies done, got this cut. I cut up some peppers and onions because I'm gonna make it for our um, dinner tonight. We're gonna do like a roast beef sub with these. Look how yummy this looks. I'm gonna try just to bake it and see what happens. This one's a little bit flatter, it's a little bit bigger. Let's see how big they get because I just don't know because I have to leave and so I think I can cook them for 20 minutes here. We're gonna set the time for 20 minutes and see how it does. It's doing their chores. I threw that in the oven. We'll see how it does. I'm eating these mangoes. These taste just like really good canned peaches. Just like melt in your mouth, almost fall apart. It's funny because I ate the good ones, the ones I told you that are specialty ones. Those are so much better than I had the ones from the store. And I'm like, ooh, they taste like pine. <laughs> so I definitely like the other ones. They're very sweet, almost like I said, like a, like a really good peach. So I ate that. That's my uh, this morning here. I'm gonna have to head out the door, pick up Brooklyn, come back. Those will be done before I go. And then I'll get my, take those out and I'll put my next batch in. And then we're gonna work on a couple of cakes this afternoon and call it a great day. And then dinner, oh, dinner, we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna make roast beef sandwiches. Mm, like a French onion dip roast beef sandwich, I'm thinking with the subs. We'll make it happen, so. Okay, and a little bell, see ya. Okay, I had to head out the door, so I left the bread in the, in the oven and Autumn took it out. So it's good. I probably let it go. Look, it looks just like Subway bread. So this one a little bit flopped down, but not bad. I mean, I'm definitely gonna, the next one, I'll let it rise up a little bit longer because I have the time. I just said 20 minutes it, for more like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do this next one here. I got three more to put in, but good, smells delicious. busy we're back couple hours so got school done things we need to get finished so we are gonna end our day with two cakes so we're gonna make a coconut cake which is not my recipe but it sounded really good the other day I don't even know why I look for a recipe and I'm like I need to get stuff for it so we're gonna make that and then pistachio cake pistachio is something it's actually Brooklyn's favorite dessert Brooklyn's favorite dessert right here in our cookbook so this is very simple this comes from my mom's um, she made this forever it's just so good so it's made with a uh, white cake mix and pistachio pudding. It's very, very good. And then you have to use Verner's, I feel like, to make it authentic, but you can just you use like burners? a yeah, club soda or even like a regular ginger ale, but I feel like the OG is what you really need in there. So we're gonna put everything into here. So the recipe is one package of cake mix and you do three eggs, you do one cup of oil, and you do one cup of ginger ale and you mix that and then one package of pudding and just mix that up in there. We're gonna put a nine by 13 and bake it and then we'll top it. I'm gonna use Dream Whip. My mom would use Dream Whip, so I've got some of that. We'll mix some of that for the top and then we'll get that one mixed up and then we'll do the next one. The, I heard the runners opening. <laughs> One cup of runners. This is the, the key I didn't ingredient. Know you added. Yes, you add runners to it. That makes it perfect. So we'll put that in there. I can have the rest of this, or if Maddie wants it, she can have it. Look at that. Mm. Delicious. Oh, make this sound. It looks delicious. <laughs> it sure does. It smells delicious. Mm. Pistachio cake. So we're going to put this in the pan. So we need both of them baking in the oven. So I think the oven is almost ready, not yet. Then we'll just set this over there on the stove and then we'll start the coconut one. The coconut one, I feel like it's gonna smell delicious. So we will just stick that over there. We'll get the next one mixed up. Mm. So this recipe I found online. So this is gonna use one cake mix. She's gonna put that in the mixer and she's gonna put in three eggs, one cup of water and a third cup of vegetable oil and then a half a teaspoon of coconut extract. Mm. It's gonna smell delicious. Okay, 
Okay, so the recipe, after it comes out of the oven, it shows poking holes in it and then pouring cream of coconut. I am surely hoping coconut cream is gonna be the same. They mix their cream of coconut with, you know, let me Google that. Okay, I looked up the recipe, that is not the same thing. Okay, so then that led to like, it's more like they said, like an alcohol section, like the cream of coconut flavor, so that's completely different. So I just did a quick Google, you can take coconut milk and mix it with sugar, basically cook it. So I think I'm gonna do that. Surely it's gotta be good, because it's basically like thicker, right? So I'm thinking sugar, let it boil, and if I need to, I can add powdered sugar to thicken it. We're gonna try our best, it's gonna be yummy. So I think I'm just gonna mock this as best I can. So I need to take and leave some of this for Maddie. So I'm thinking just taking a half of a cup. So that way she's got enough. I think that's good, right? I'm gonna do half a cup of, or half a can, and then I'll put sugar in here, about equal amounts, probably what is it, a cup? Oh no, one second, we're making, I'm gonna try to make this the best I can. <laughs> this which, oh, that's flour. Oh, I'm gonna sugar. Probably really good is that um, coconut jam I talked about. That probably could use that really well, but I need to make that. So I'm thinking to do, I'm thinking equal amounts of sugar in here. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna heat this up on the stove over here. Okay, I'm hoping this is gonna be good. While I'm doing that, Maddie is gonna make the frosting. So this is going to be, it's a, let's see. Let me look up her recipe here. It is a half a stick of butter, or one stick of butter. And then she's gonna mix it all up and then she's gonna two cups of powdered sugar and then we'll add some coconut extract. And if we need a little bit of liquid, it's gonna be the cream of coconut. We'll make it work. taste coconutty. So we're gonna make ours a little bit more fluffy. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna add another half a cup just to whip it up. This is gonna work. The, over here it tastes like, I feel like the cream of coconut stuff. So I think, I think we're onto something good. So I feel like the flavor of it is really good. So this is good, that is boiled up. I just shut it off, I added a little bit of vanilla to it. That's gonna be good. Let's work on the pistachio frosting now. I feel like this is gonna be good because you basically put holes in the, top, in the cake and you're supposed to mix cream of coconut with milk. So it'll be like, I think it'll thicken up just a little bit. So I'm gonna let that cool off and then we'll add that in. So then we're gonna make the um, pistachio one. Usually I use Cool Whip. My mom always used Dream Whip and I have Dream Whip. So I think I'm gonna have Maddie do two packages of this one package of this and then we're gonna put milk in there and whip it up and I feel like that makes the, um, basically I'm looking at the back, it says, you can just mix up whipped toppy mix with the pudding. I feel like that's gonna be good and you just spread it on top, it's delicious. This is so good, so good. So I'm gonna just put these in the refrigerator and then um, when they come out of the oven, we'll let them cool quickly and then we'll frost them for dinner. Okay, so I gotta do dinner. I'm like, I'm done. And I'm like, no wait, actually I gotta do the main part of dinner. The rolls are coming out awesome. I gotta put the next batch in after the cake is done. So I'm gonna do this real quick in a pan on the stove because time. So this is basically taking roast beef right here. The whole lunch meat. I'm just gonna cook all of it, make it easier. I'm just gonna put this in a pot. You can do it in your slow cooker and it kind of separates, but I'll show you here. This just like this. I put a blob of garlic in there and I'm gonna take onion soup mix right here. And I've got one of these. I'm gonna pour this on top and we're gonna put, oops, some beef bouillon and I'm gonna add some water. Then we're gonna let this kind of come to a boil. It'll separate. This is what we'll, oh, actually the onions and the raw this I cut up today. All this. Do we do all the big ones? Hmm. Yeah, let's do all of it. Okay, all that in there. And then let me get the water. This will be really good because it'll like separate. You can also take the, the liquid and kind of dip your sub bun in it. It'll be good. So let me cook this up over here. So this is gonna look like this. Just let that heat up and simmer. The cakes are almost done in here. They look like that. That looks delicious, probably another five, 10 minutes. These gotta go in the oven. These are with everything bagel topping it. I will put those in next. This is, this is a great thing. I don't know how it's gonna be for cleanup. We'll see, but this, not bad. Some got a little flat, but that was again, me not being here. It's gonna be good. We'll cut those in half. I've got provolone and we'll put them in the oven and they'll kind of crisp up and then we'll put the meat on there and I've got the pasta salad. We get some veggies 
it's a good easy that's a good cooking day all day i feel like so i'll come back in a minute and i'll show you the cakes because the coconut one we have to poke holes and pour that stuff in it then it has to cool completely so we'll probably put it somewhere i'm just thinking i'm like put it outside in the freezer somewhere to get it going get on quickly and cool and then we can put the frosting on we'll have that for dinner dessert tonight so great day great day getting things done in the household came out. I love it that they have the little mat and everything. So these will be delicious. I'll let these cool up and uh, then we'll make them into dinner. I'm going to do the cakes, but they're still cool enough over here. So I'll wait on those. These taste really good, I can tell by the frosting. So I'm just gonna stick them in the refrigerator and then we'll try them out tonight and see which one is everyone's favorite. Okay, so I only made three of them with the, I'm gonna put provolone, stick them in the oven and brown. These smell so good. It's so weird. It literally, like it looks and tastes and smells like someone. Like I said, a little flat, but that was just due to me not being here and seeing them through. So I'm excited to make more of these. They had a mold that was smaller dough and I'm like, I wonder how that would go for like the smaller ones, but we'll let this brew in the oven and we'll put our beef on it and I'll get my salad out, we'll have dinner and cake. Okay, I just washed this. It washed very easily. I wasn't sure. I was like, some people said it was hard to clean. This is really good. So not bad. I think it was like 15, about $15 on Amazon. So yay in the winter. Let me get my toppings out for my subs and we'll get dinner and it'll be delicious. Okay, so we even haven't had these. So I don't know what everybody's going to love. So I, here's one right here. So this is what it looks like. The roast beef. So it's basically roast beef lunch meat. That's it. I'm going to set that on there. Basically like a Philly cheesesteak, but a cheapy one, right? Cause it's got lunch meat, not real beef. Put that on there and then some peppers. I guess if you want some onions in there. This is gonna be kind of hard to skip out all of those. I would put some on there. I'm only gonna do about half of this for me. So I'm gonna do that with some lettuce. I'm gonna do like right here. I'm gonna put some pickles on there. And then I would do Miracle Whip. I would do mine like this, like a little sandwich. This is so good. And then if you need more, if it's too dry, which is pretty moist, I would dip some in the broth. I'll put that like a little bowl next to it. Let me show you what, what I would do if I were to plate this up. You know, because we plate stuff up around here. I would do like this right here. Let me dip it in, let's try it. That is so good. I can't tell if the bread is better than the filling or what. That's good because it's got the, like the, Maxine's even sniffing little, oh, that's good. That's a good topping. So that is gonna be dinner tonight with, along with the salad right here. We're gonna have the noodle salad here. Serve up dinner, simple and easy. Dinner is done, delicious. Not everybody loves the Philly cheesesteak stuff, but most of them they do. They said the, um, the sub breads were really good. So that's a good thing. The cake, we had the cake and we had, um, we have a couple, I mean, they're both delicious. Very, very good. We had two winners, or was it four? How many people are voting? There's four of us, <laughs> that's it. Two like pistachio and two like the I coconut. Know. 
Many Lakes Bowl. So very delicious, good thing to try. So I am done for today, finished up. So you have a fantastic rest of your day and come back tomorrow. We'll do some more stuff. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.